the Saint Macarius. Two, uh, two saints were called Macarius. The first one was the, the one who left and uh, he went to Egypt and the second was the one who was in Alexandria. Uh, those uh, holy fathers were uh, both living in the same uh, time at the same time uh, on earth. One was from Hivaida in Egypt and well, that why he was called Egyptian and the other was, was from Alexandria so that he is called Alex, Alexandres, the one from Alexandria. Uh, the Egyptian one was also called the Great One and, uh, who was, uh, and he was uh, older in, uh, in the age. The one who was called Egyptian was born in 301 uh, and he loved righteousness ever, ever since he was young. He was, uh, nobody could say a bad word for him throughout his life. Uh, when he was 20 years old, uh, some others say that he was 30 years old, he left from the world. The, from the world. He was so patient in, in the hardships that he took uh, the hardship of uh, exercise that after a few years he um, was praised with uh, the, um, the, uh, the uh, with uh, the talent of uh, uh, have uh, of saying the future things that are going to happen and to make wonders he was uh, called uh, he was young and he was called child or old child, um, which means that he was uh, young in the age, but wise as an old man. He was uh, a student of, uh, uh, they say that he was a student of great Anthony. After a, a, few, uh, a few pleadings from the Archbishop, who, who wouldn't bear um, seeing that this beautiful person, this good person, was hiding himself? Uh, he he made him he made him a priest, and he was uh, at that time forty years old. The saint had two disciples also, which uh, one of them was leaving with him. Uh, to uh, help, uh, and both of them were helping the, the sick people, which they brought to the saint uh, day after day to heal them, and the other was living in a cell farther away. Uh, seeing that the, the saint, uh, uh, see, the saint seeing that this other disciple was taking money from uh, the sick people, he was very uh, sad and very angry with him and told him that uh, if he wouldn't stop doing what he was doing, taking money from the sick people, the, the, the Lord Jesus Christ would be so angry with him that he uh, would uh, harm him and made him repent for what he was doing. And truly, uh, what he said uh, became true because uh, in a, because that uh, that disciple did not do what the saint said and start and continued to take money from the sick people and in a few time and in a few um, in a small time after that he became leopard he had leprosy on him so they took him. Hmm. To in front of the saint, he and he understood that he had a legion of demons on him, and um, and, and they tortured him, tortured him very much. Uh, one of them was uh, taking him to uh, giving him fire. The other um, putting him into uh, into the fire. Uh, 
in his mouth and one of them uh, um, uh, was uh, making his mouth smell so badly uh, when he didn't have any bread to eat he was uh, eating his own um, his own um, his own um, things that his body was um, was taking out and that was a very very bad thing he was doing di di uh, different things that were, were one was worse than the other the mother of that young person uh, throwing herself into on the 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 feet of the saint and was crying so much and he um, was asking for the saint to make his son uh, become well again. The saint started praying and for five, for seven days and then uh, and after that he gave the young child to his mother uh, he was very uh, well again and he was not eating, eating anything else but three liters of uh, three uh, kilos of bread every day because uh, he had a lot of uh, days to, to to eat and before that he was uh, eating his own dirt now he stopped that and he was only eating bread um, someday a person uh, killed somebody else secretly and after, uh, they didn't uh, nobody know who did it and they put another innocent person into prison and saying that he was the guilty one and wanted to uh, give him to prison and to the judges uh, so that they would punish him and he went into the saint's cell so that they wouldn't take him and take him to the judges and to the prison but when uh, the, the soldiers went there they took him and um, um, and put him under under um, strings so that they could give him to justice he was calling out loud and saying that he was innocent and the saint um, put mercy on him and took in the grave of the the person who died under under um, this uh, uh, hardship the the person who was murdered and uh, with in in front of all those people the saint um, kneeled on the tumor on the grave and started praying saying to the person near to the person near him uh, this, the Lord the Lord may give us um, give us tell us who is the guilty one and uh, if that person is guilty or if that person is innocent and called he called the, the, the dead person and out loud he said I beseech you in the name of the Lord the, the Lord Jesus Christ tell us the truth if this person who uh, the people are saying is your murderer is truly your murderer or not and the 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 dead person and this was a tremendous miracle as he was just like he was asleep woke up and say saying to the to the saint no honorable father I, he did not hear me there was somebody else who um, took my life after that the people who were near that were uh, who heard the old the, the dead person response uh, to uh, the saint was so frightened that um, pleaded the saint to ask him again who killed him so the wise uh, old man said uh, don't you understand that this is m m more than enough that the person here uh, the, the dead person just told you that he is not the murderer and mustn't be punished but uh, since I'm more uh, uh, I'm not judge 
and I'm not a judge to um, to give uh, to punish to punish the one who did it. Osius Palladius in Egypt uh, say things say about this Macarius that he was uh, wanted to uh, to take uh, the love of uh, uh, a, 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 a lady over there who was wise enough and couldn't uh, couldn't be able to make her love him. He uh, made some uh, sorcery uh, with dem uh, some de demonic sorcery on her, so that uh, uh, people would see her as she was very uh, ugly. Uh, her her own parents um, went to Macarius and told her this this daughter who are taking. Uh, that we are taking her into your own goodness and your own uh, saintness was our daughter and with the sorcery of a, a, a person look at her she became as it is now so please help us uh, pray to the Lord uh, so that he would turn her again again into his uh, her uh, ex uh, shape and body and become a person again uh, the saint said that um, I I see her as a lady uh, not as 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 ugly as you say that uh, she is and uh, that that turn, that uh, that she has turned into an ugly lady is not in her body, but in your own uh, eyes, who see who see her under the under the the sorcery of the demon, saying that took the the daughter into his own cell and started uh, reading some uh, wishes on her and put some holy oil on her head and ever since she was. Uh, looking as a true lady as she was and nobody would say that she was because uh, the prayings of um, as, uh, Saint Macarius disappeared the sorcery whatsoever uh, some other time they uh, took another lady to him another daughter who was a very great uh, sickness and she all, all her body had turned, uh, uh, had turned bad, and uh, uh, ugly, ugly smell, or smell was coming out of her body. Macarius told her, "Have patience, daughter, because for the benefit, benefit of your own soul, the Lord Jesus Christ gave you this." this punishment this sickness so praying five, for seven days and anointing her with holy oil he made him uh, made her true again uh, he made her well again and everybody who were near her uh, started being afraid again because uh, saint macarius from egypt could do whatever he wanted uh, whatever he wanted, God gave it to him. Some day they went to cut the wheat, Abbas, Sisois, and Macarius, with four or five more monks. And as the, they were cutting the wheat in the first thing in the morning, that it was cold enough, and they saw a lady who was following them and uh, taking uh, the uh, all all the, um, the wits that were uh, uh, left behind her. She was uh, al always crying and the saint asked what happened to that lady and she was always crying and they saw, they told him that she was a widow and uh, one person gave her husband uh, something, uh, a document so valuable to guard it. 
but her husband died suddenly and um, and she, he didn't say anything to her about that situation and um, when he called her in the court because she was poor she wanted to take her as a prisoner as a slave and uh, he, he and her, her and her uh, children when Makarius said that uh, heard that he felt sorry for the lady and uh, he went to the, the tumor of the grave of her husband and asked him when he hid, hid the document and he uh, miraculously said uh, uh, that it was under uh, under the um, under the bed of the lady so uh, he uh, dig, dug there and found and uh, hid it the saint told that to the lady she took the document and gave it to the to the right to the person that he owned it and uh, he, she stayed there without being um, uh, harassed by uh, the, uh, the, the person who had the document uh, he was always fasting and uh, he had celibacy all the time and he had so much patience uh, so uh, the saint had 20 years which he had n never eaten bread or water or he never went to sleep uh, and, and when uh, he was eating so little bread every day so and so little sleep every day and uh, um, he uh, had three glasses of water and he was leaning against the wall he had he was sleeping so little so that he wouldn't hurt himself and his uh, mind from uh, not being slept and then not not have his mind from being so much uh, so uh, so um, in, in so much hurtness uh, to himself when his brother came to see him uh, he was sitting among them and he was eating and drinking uh, as they as all the others did so that the hypocrisies would left him and the, the, the uh, when they left he had so many days to drink water as much uh, um, glasses of water he had drunk when he was with them and so many so little bread he to uh, to eat as much as he had eaten when uh, he was with the brothers and he was uh, hurting himself and his flesh because these um, uh, the whole his whole body was um, was revealing how much uh, how much hardship had done to himself and so that his soul become uh, better and better one day Osios Makarios went to visit St. Antonius and hit the, uh, the door asked um, uh, uh, St. Antonius asked who was it and what he wanted <clears throat> he said that he was Makarios and he came to talk to him uh, but St. Antonius wanted to um, testify his patience he, he closed the door and uh, he but Makarios didn't was <coughs> was not in scandal but stayed there for a lot of t time with uh, um, with silence and um, with silence there and didn't say anything so when they saw when San Antonio saw his patients or a patients opened the door and he hugged him saying um the, it is so much time since i had your own rep good reputation and i had so much will to see you so glory glorified be the lord who fulfilled my my will so they hugged each other 
uh, uh, like brothers, they put a table and they ate together. And after that, they took um, uh, some vaya and um, as, as Synodonius was um, meeting them, so that he wouldn't sit uh, still and don't, not doing anything. And they start talking uh, to, um, to help each other and give uh, comfort to one, uh, one to the other's soul. Makarios uh, asked him to, um, to do some work uh, also. And uh, seeing that, uh, that uh, uh, Great Adonius saw that uh, Marco, uh, Macarian, Macarius did uh, um, the work better, uh, he um, kissed his hands and say, saying that your blessed hands are doing uh, this so well because uh, they are full of kindness and righteousness. After that, he returned. Karius returned to his cell and um, he started to uh, read, uh, to read and write so that his uh, soul and mind, uh, uh, um, so that his soul and mind was uh, more in the heavens but on the earth. He wanted to. Uh, He wanted to open under his cell um, a big, a big tunnel, a big tunnel under the under the the ground, who had who was a half of uh, a stadium, and uh, he, he he had a lot of uh, uh, corners uh, like it was um, it was a labyrinth. And in the end of it, he he uh, dug with his hands a, a cave. So when uh, people uh, were coming and they disturbed him, he was going uh, he was going under the cell, and he was um, he was under the cell and. Uh, and nobody could be able to find him. So uh, sometimes he went to a festival, festival in the or uh, or uh, in or in the mountain uh, of Nitria in the monastery of Avapamvo, so that uh, the um, the monks saw uh, saw uh, uh, other other who were. Uh, so righteousness them, themselves, and he wanted to uh, be taught uh, good uh, deeded actions uh, to um, to benefit one's another soul. So that he said, "I'm I'm not a monk. Uh, I'm not a monk uh, till now, but I saw somebody else to do uh, what they did, and I will tell you." Some very little. Uh, um, I, I will tell you so many little about um, advising you, then that you wouldn't even imagine that I wouldn't be able to say so many things. So uh, he started saying, as I was sitting in my cell, uh, the bad actions, the bad uh, actions. But thinking came to me saying, Get up and go to the desert. I was feared that it was uh, thinking of a demon of a demon to make my peaceful uh, upside down my peace, peace, peacefulness upside down. Uh, I was fighting that for five years for five years. Mm. Uh, he was uh, fearful that uh, this uh, uh, thinking was of the demon to um, make his peacefulness uh, peaceful upside down. 
and he was fighting that uh, um, that thinking for five years and seeing that his seeing that um, this uh, thinking was uh, getting better and better and stronger and stronger so for five years so for five years seeing that his um, thinking was getting better he uh, thought he understood that the God was, that the God was great and he uh, obeyed and obeyed I walked uh, a lot of time through the desert and found a lake in in which uh, all the beasts come there um, to drink water and uh, some other uh, anim animals were already drinking water among the things they among the things he saw two men with a lot of hair on their body so he um he felt asleep and he uh, he was uh, so reluctant i uh, i think that i uh, think that they were demons uh, the other people saw the same thing uh, and they were fearful when they talked to me saying don't leave, please don't be don't be frightened. They are people though. They are uh, people though. Uh, being uh, having a, bra a great uh, courage now by what he had done, and um, it, uh, thinking that they were demons, uh, they talked to me. Um, they were talking to him 